do. Super Trevor! Seven. Have to count afterwards, but it's around seven. It's doing it. That's nine. Oop, that was a guest. It's trashy air. Let's take some serious scale in these conditions. Trevor. Eleven, maybe. We'll go through the numbers afterwards, but I got to keep some sort of count. Serious skill. Twelve. 
This skill is really important because it's active piloting skills. If you can perfectly maintain altitude and direction like this, while flying around in circles, downwind, crosswind, back into the wind, through your wake, that skill is what helps you prevent collapses in flight. Exactly that same skill. So the WPGA World Championships is not just the coolest, the most honest, accurate competition, but it's something everyone should do. Even if you don't plan on winning, it's just very valuable to see where you place in the world and then you can also compare your skills to years from before so you can see how you're progressing over the years or if you are progressing at all if you can't even do a circle foot drag obviously you're not progressing so it's a very very valuable skill builder for absolutely everyone really everyone in the in the sport should do it no matter who you are even if you're 65 years old it doesn't matter because if you can't do this you can't prevent collapses and so this equals safety the better you are the safer you are because the more you can prevent collapses and it's just incredible because if you can do this you can fly right in the middle of the day through 100 degree temperatures, right through the mountains, 25, 35 mile an hour winds don't matter. It just doesn't matter anymore. You can launch in the rotor of a house, in between trees and cars and boulders, and it just, you have the skill to be able to hold that absolute precision. Now, of course, make sure you don't do this on anything but a flat top paramotor, specifically just for safety reasons because most units out there are so horribly flimsy. They don't have any face plant protection. They don't have the skids under you to save your bacon. You trip and fall down and it literally can flip over the top of your head and chop your hand off. It's happened over a hundred times. There's actually a video of a girl, you know, trying to learn and she just trips and falls down and literally the prop hits her hand and you can hear her shrieking in the video over and over and over. So don't be doing stuff like this, or actually you really shouldn't be flying at all if you don't have a flat top paramotor specifically, as it's the only one very specifically designed to address all of the well-known safety issues in the sport. So very, very important that you have a flat top. So if and when you do mess up and biff it in, just like Trevor did a little bit ago, really cranking it and getting on it, it's a total not issue. You just get right back up and take back off. No damage, no injury. And with better skills for it. This is incredible. We're watching history. He's gonna be the new world champion here. I've lost count. Yakety yakety yakin. He's ripping. Super skill perfection. You can do this anywhere. Out in a big field, out in the grass, on a beach, literally anywhere. The, uh, you know, frozen lake with snow on it is great, it works, but pretty much any open area is fine. It doesn't really matter, it's all about the skill. You're maintaining perfect altitude and direction while flying around in circles, give or take, literally like an inch or so and that active piloting skills because the way collapses work basically if you get hit with a gust you're gonna get a spike in airspeed the which is gonna spike your the loading of the glider the loading is gonna increase the glider's then gonna shoot forwards and if it goes to a negative angle of attack bam it collapses where if you have the skill to do this, if you felt that, you would instantly respond to it instinctively before that glider moved an inch. And so you're just not gonna be taking collapses. It's possible to get hit so fast and so hard that even a skilled pilot can take a collapse, but 99.99% of collapses are fully preventable with active piloting skills like this. So this is just 
huge world record in the making here. Super Trevor, I do believe he is the new world champion. I believe he has beaten me. I am no longer no, hey, now I can't say I'm undefeated anymore. What's up with that? No fair. I knew it happened one day. Super Trevor rocks. And Jordan and the other people I've trained, the, you know, I'm not really worried about anyone else. It's the people that I train that really have the ability to beat me. Because it's, you got to get all the pieces perfected right up front. The people without that can do it for 20, 30 years and never get anywhere. Because it doesn't matter how long you practice wrong. You never get good by doing something wrong. It's not practice that makes perfect. It's perfect practice that makes perfect. And so it's critical to get super training right up front so you can master all of the perfected skills first and then spend all those years practicing it correctly and honing it to an absolute master level. I mean, you can get beyond expert level straight out of 10 days of super training. You can see the world records all over YouTube. Sorry, I'm probably jiggling the camera, driving you nuts, and everybody's gonna go, who's holding the camera? Michael J. Fox, rude. I love Michael J. Fox, he's awesome. Booyah. So if you wanna go fly up that mountain in the background in the middle of the day in the summer, this is the skill, or one of the skills. This is incredible practice. Now you can do this without all the details of skills, because you are just doing left, right, up and down. Now he, to really do it well, obviously it certainly helps, but there's other tasks. This is just a good starting point, which is why it's such a cool, championship the WPGA Paramotor World Championships but there's other things whoa there he is whoa super Trevor world record the new WPGA Paramotor World Champion Woo! yeah <laughs> too cool punk beat me that's it Superdell is no longer undefeated <laughs> that is awesome, Super Trevor!